So we are now joined by the lovely Adrienne. Now you may recognise Adrienne because she is in fact my sister. Yeah. My older sister. Um, so Adrienne has got a company. So what is your company called and what do you do? So Zippy Doodle Designs was born at the beginning of the year. So we wanted to do thank you cards for our Christmas presents and we thought we would make them ourselves being the crafty bunch that we are. Indeed. Uh, so William did a load of um, fingerprints and just messing about and I thought well I'll just do a couple of doodles on top. So we did some aliens and we did frogs and we did animals. So I thought what a brilliant idea to do the templates for people so that the templates are there on a card ready for kids to add their own fingerprints. And what a brilliant keepsake to give to somebody completely a family member that you've done yourself yeah brilliant and we we obviously got one because we gave william gifts exactly. and we got to another person and then the, the other fingerprint was joined up and it made a dog and i just was so wow this is absolutely fantastic yeah and that's something that i'm adding to my keep box you know that's a that's a keepsake as well as the drawing he did at school of Auntie Abby, she's my favourite. Uh, this no, is going to go. Of mummy, yeah, no, 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 mummy. But I did look like SpongeBob. <laughs> but you know that's fine. I mean, you can tell by the colour. Uh, so we've got three different collections. Yeah. So I've only done three collections so far, just to sort of gauge what people are into, um, what the kids are into, and sort of I'm going to sort of expand from there. Really. So there's an Easter collection coming which will be coming um, in the next couple of days. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, there'll be Easter cards. And then obviously the, the collections I've designed so far are quite generic so that you can use them for any occasion. So they can be thank you cards, birthday cards, Mother's Day cards. Perfect. Um, and you get five cards in each pack, all with envelopes. Yep, all with envelopes. And they're $5.99 a pack. Yep. And if you wanted to purchase these, there's, there'll be a link down below for you that you can just go through and purchase these. And I do think for Mother's Day in particular, they'd be brilliant. Like for grandmas, mums, yeah. you know, if you've got a special auntie. Um, right, so let's have a look at each individual pack. So these are the packs that you'll be getting. You've got the Undersea Collection, the Dinosaur Collection and the Unicorns. So are you okay if I just open one of these out so we can have a look? Yeah, go for it. I'll just slide it off. So the idea is they pop their fingerprint in the centre of the design. So could they decorate around the outside if they wanted to? Yes, the design is fairly blank so that you can add your own fingerprints wherever you want to really. But the idea is that it's an obvious place to print. Right, and it's in it's central as well. So it's quite a it's quite a good area that they've got to be able to get that fingerprint in the right place. Yeah. So you've got the seahorses there, they are super cute. And these are all hand drawn by you. Yeah, all digitally drawn and some of them take longer than others. And I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so they can take quite some time. I love the crabs. They're brilliant. They're just jolly and fun and you know it's all about having fun with crafting with kids and I've got an upside down one. Oh, <laughs> that's brilliant and I tell you the quality of the cards really good as well is that something that you really focused on yeah I mean I wanted to make sure that it was recycled cards so it's recycled card and recycled envelopes there's no plastic involved uh, even the I love this packaging is um, cardboard so you could, I mean, not that you would recycle it because you'd keep it for keeps, but you might but, recycle this yeah, piece. Yeah, the packaging and the yeah. envelopes. So this is the design, <laughs> these are the dinosaurs. Oh, they're absolutely super. Look at them, really. And these really will appeal to boys and girls, this whole, this whole bunch of cards. Look at that one. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I can imagine Seb would be putting his thumbprint in the centre, whereas Lily would be drawing in and colouring in and then doing her fingerprint. Yeah, and I think the, the smaller card with all of the dinosaurs is perhaps for a tiny baby's little fingerprint. These are slightly larger, but then you could do multiple. So, yeah, completely. And, and as a younger child, you're going to be sort of in control of the fingerprint, as whereas the older ones are going to be doing whatever they want to do on them. Definitely. It also, you know, there's a lot of card, I love the envelopes as well, there's a lot of card making things, um, obviously as you know, there's a lot of card making things in on the market, but what I love about these is it gives you that starting point, it gives you an idea exactly. to run with, exactly. which sometimes can be the hardest thing to come up with the idea. Yeah, so even if you were to order just one pack, it's, it's the basis of 
creating your own designs from then on, or you order a pack of templates already done. So the, with the unicorn ones, they're slightly different in that, but it's not as obvious where the, f the fingerprints go. But um, on some that I've done before, I've done in the clouds and then just the, the body. And uh, if you go to the next one, it's just the little body part there. It's just a little bit of an accent of color. But I've also done fingerprints all around the heart. Uh, and on the other one, you can do whatever you like, as we said, around the edge um, to, to make it your design. Uh, they're, they're templates for you to create from. Or I just think they're to. perfect. And I think ones like, let me get to the one I was thinking of, ones like this, for example, maybe you've got a new baby, you could put a footprint and a handprint either yeah, side why not? and, and just enough. colour this in. So there's all sorts of different things you could do. You could be adding your glitters in, so much. You've got the starting there, but I just love the fingerprint. When we got that one from William for Christmas, I was just, and it, and you know, it's simple. It's just two little draw doodles, but it was perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And some people, you know, they want to do fingerprint things or, or sentimental things from home, but they're not quite the arty type. You know, yeah. and, and these do take a while. It's not like um, they take a couple of minutes. So, uh, you know, there is a lot of work that goes into these so that you, you know that you're getting the designs that you that you want with your fingerprints that are Definitely. there already. So let's just recap. You've got five cards in each pack. You've also got the envelopes as well. Um, it's all recyclable, so there's no plastic packaging in there, which I think it, in itself is worth its weight in gold. It's 5 99 for each pack, and you can choose between the unicorns, the dinosaurs or the Under the Sea collection. That's from Zippy Doodle Designs. Um, the link will be down below. So if you want to purchase those, just go through to the link and you can grab your own. So let's have a little demonstration. Yep. Obviously you've got bigger fingers than a child. Yeah, I but should be using my baby finger. Using your baby finger, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. So let's have a little look at what you do. So these are, let's go with the little dinosaurs first. So these are Stegosaurus, T-Rex, Diplodocus and Triceratops. He's my favourite. These are just sort of, you know, if you Google dinosaur, those are the sort of top four that come up. So I thought, well, I'll go with those. And I'm literally just using kids' poster paints. Okay. Washable, uh, non-toxic. You can use um, ink pads yep. that are, are, are made specifically for children. Obviously, if you're doing this as an adult, you don't perhaps have to worry as much. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so these are just the kids' poster paints and I'm using a sheet of paper just to blot off the excess before I put it on the card. Okay. That's the only probably biggest piece of advice I would give you is to, to blot first before putting it on the card. So we've got loads of the poster paints. Just a, It is, uses such a tiny amount as well. Yes, really literally the, the tiniest amount. That's brilliant. Um, also what you can do is paint, paint it on your finger first and then pop it on. But I've, I've found this just to be the easiest way. With kids messing around with paintbrushes and things, it's just a little bit too much sometimes, but. Especially for babies that aren't gonna yeah. have that control of keeping in the one color. Exactly. Painting their finger is such a good idea. Yeah. When we were doing the fingerprints at Christmas by ourselves, it didn't matter quite so much because we were doing the fingerprints first yeah. and then drawing over the top, where these are already drawn for you already. So you have to be a little bit careful that you're not painting over the design and you're losing the picture behind. So uh, let's go for one of each color. I'll do my baby finger. I've got long nails as well, which doesn't help. So I'm just gonna dip my finger into the paint. You can see I've got way too much there anyway. Yeah, you wouldn't get a fingerprint. It would just be a blob, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, so you can either blot off the excess on, on the plate or whatever um, you've you put your paints on, or you can use this, the, the paper. So you know what, roughly what shape your fingerprint's gonna create. And then you literally just, Pop it on the tummy. Perfect. And that comes to life. It really, really does. And the fact that you've got that keepsake then of that child's fingerprints, thanking yep. you for that particular gift or celebrating that particular occasion. Yep. Uh, it's, a, it's a memory thing, isn't it? It definitely is. So let's do a yellow diplodocus. I'm just going to use the plate, actually. It seems oh, he's good. really cute, that diplodocus. Job. Get rid of it on the paper. And then I'm just going to do his tummy there. And it doesn't even matter if it's not central because it's just all about your creativity. I absolutely love that. What are you going to do? Oh, good. I was hoping you were going to do a green, green T-Rex with his tiny little arms. <laughs> Seb's favourite of the uh, dinosaurs. Also, another tip I could use not to 
dip your finger in too hard because that's where you get too much paint as well. So you just just the lightest little dip. And these are particularly small. So ah. and you know, if you, even if you want to go in again, look, it looks like a pom pom tummy now. I love that. What what colour should we do, Stegosaurus? Uh, purple. Purple. I'm not sure if there were any purple dinosaurs, but let's do purple. <laughs> okay. Again, um, oh, and you, you know, oh, I really like you can it. go back in again if he's not. There we go, perfect. Oh, my goodness me, that's absolutely fantastic! I love it, really brilliant. You can you can see that now on somebody's side on their mantelpiece. Um, a really great gift to give to somebody, or maybe you just want to do this and frame them and have your children's yeah. designs. In your own home. Yeah, already orders have come in and people have framed them for, for kids' bedrooms. They've put their own fingerprints on, especially the dinosaur ones. Oh, they're beautiful. Uh, let me just show you the unicorn ones because they're not as obvious as the dinosaur tummies. So okay. um, let's go for purple tummy on the um, unicorn body. So just one little one there. That's Perfect. probably all you need. I love it. And then I'm just going to perhaps get the yellow and just add a little bit of colour around the edge. I mean, this is obviously going to be your child's little finger, but it's not going to be my huge, great finger. But it, I'm just showing you that just because there's no obvious place to put your colour, that you can put it wherever you want it to go. Yeah, it's that it's that starting point as well, isn't it? Yeah. If you want to just fill in um, and do that, which personally I think is absolute perfection, or maybe you don't have a child that can be controlled in such a way. Exactly. I mean, William is, you know, mad with a paintbrush. So he, he wanted to paintbrush all of his. Um, so we did have a bit of a mess. But, you know, from that, we did get a few really, really good ones. Yeah. So. And also, you could you could have some paper and you could let him them go to town. And then every so often, just bring in a card and just have a little stamp. Exactly. I think it's a little bit more of a controlled craft. It's not one just to leave them to, unless they're, you know, sort of seven yeah. plus. Well, and, and there's no harm to that as well. You know, it's that structure. It's what they do at school. You know, there's no reason why they can't have a structured craft. Um, and also go to town, like, for instance, on the unicorn ones which i think are brilliant yeah and then you know you could add uh, your own little edging or you know less is more i think in on some occasions but um, yes like this one yeah. i think is that is perfection as yeah. it is i mean you could write a sentiment on there you could add in you know other bits and pieces yeah. if you wanted to you stamp something on there completely but the reason they've been left blank is so that they can be used for any occasion brilliant so some fabulous demonstrations there from Adrienne from Zippy Doodle Designs. You can find them on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram um, and Etsy. Oh, Etsy, absolutely fantastic. Um, there'll be links below again, as I said, for you to purchase them. You get five in each pack. It's £5.99 a pack and you can choose between the unicorns, the dinosaurs. That's my favourite. <laughs> uh, actually, no, the sea one's my favourite. It's tricky. Uh, it's tricky. I think I'll just go for all three. I'll just go for all three. So, and we've ha I've had a couple of people asking for custom designs. So if you've got an idea, then just ping me a message on Instagram, which is probably the quickest way, uh, and we can get designing together and create something just for you. That's absolutely fantastic. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Adrienne for coming on So Crafty TV. Thank you for having me. You've been our first guest. Uh, I know you're not actually sewing, no. but um, I thought these would be a great addition to the show because they're not strictly paper craft. They're a craft that you can do with your family. Mm. And I think that's what So Crafty TV is all about, is something to do with the family and all that interaction and all that sort of thing. So thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Hopefully you'll come back. Definitely. Oh, Marvellous. Yes. Thank you so much.